Hello. Hello. We are live. I'm with Izzy here at the Botanic Gardens and that's a really green lake for you. <laughs> hey. Hello. Say hello to everybody. Hello everybody. <laughs> so we were just walking around and I thought that I'd bring her on. I wanted her to share a little bit more about um, I'll just look at you through the kid through this thing. Um, what's it like, Izzy, being a sensitive and somebody who is connected to the world beyond this physical realm? Somebody who sees between the in between lines, someone who is connected to the artistry of this universe and the inner realms of yourself. How, what is it like being a sensitive growing up, especially, um, yeah, just in this world? What's your experience and Mm. You can well, start there. Was, uh, it's terrifying. When I was a kid, my my parents and my family used to say that I was afraid of everything. Like mm. just the most random things, like sudden sounds or onions and onions. Or like I just <laughs> walk into a room and suddenly like freeze up and not talk to anybody just because. Right. Um, like, I would refuse to go to a certain place because. I didn't feel right. I don't know. I was a very terrified child, and um, then my parents like they were very, they were very emotionally like detached. So my mom would say like, even though she was the one who passed this ability on to me, like she would tell me stories about how when she was studying, she would see and hear all these like spiritual things. But then when I start to tell her about my experience, I should be like, she would kind of dismiss them and be like, oh, ghost, there's no such thing as ghost. Or like you know, it's all in your head and you're like it's just a dream you know right just because she didn't know how to like handle it properly and with my right. dad like he was also like not in touch with his 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 emotions and his feelings and himself so he would right. tell me things like um like crying is a sign of weakness for one thing that really like fucked me up for the rest of my life right um also because you're sensitive as fuck yeah, 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 yeah. And you're really feeling... Like a cry baby, I don't know, and as, as a kid. Right. Then there were incidents as well, like when, I was a, when, well, when I was an infant and my mom was alone at home, there was like a spirit that came in because our neighborhood used to be like, like, because I live all the way in Jerome West, and it used to be like this swamp and there were like graveyards, they had to like um, demolish to build houses. So we were living there and then there was this spirit that was like disturbing me and they had to get like, a, like an imam to get it out of me and like I don't remember Sorry. that I don't remember it because I was an infant but I remember that fear that apparently I was crying for like six hours or something like that right like, yeah and there's and there's no one to explain to you yeah. what these experiences are that's yeah. the thing you're yeah. so sensitive and tapped in you get all of these yeah there's nobody to explain I don't know I feel like sometimes I'm a scaredy cat but I know I'm not like it's just so irrational to walk into a place and be like, I, I feel something here, you know? Is it, is it my paranoia or is it really something? Right. Who knows? Right. <laughs> so are, are you saying that right now, where are you with that? Um, what, are, what are some of the struggles as a, as a sensitive in this world that you feel like not enough people talk about? What are some of the struggles? Like how to... How to deal with it when you're confronted with it it's yeah like, how to deal with what exactly like when if you, you give see point something form. you didn't you don't want to see and then you're terrified and then you're like there yeah. was this one time in bali i was taking my friend's space and it was like empty yeah and then um i was just kind of just starting to get unpacked and then something visited me right and i was like scared shitless i couldn't sleep the whole right night. yeah so how do you how do you deal with that how do you deal with that fear is what i want to want to learn I guess yeah yeah and I mean how do you balance being sensitive and and functional I guess mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely this was something that I also like went through mm -hmm. all this fear of uh, things like multi-dimensional interferences yeah and uh, for me like the most important thing that like helped me is to start distinguishing like how things felt in my body you know mm -hmm. like if something makes you feel afraid yeah and like you start thing to recognize that vibration and yeah. then recognizing the vibration of like when do you actually feel at peace when do you feel safe you know yeah and how does that feel in your body and then 
you know, when you go into certain spaces or you have certain interactions with different people, you feel those same energies mm -hmm. at the same time. So you know whether to kind of like turn left or turn right or to change the situation or to move away. Mm -hmm. You know, and that for me is like the most one 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 of the most like basic I guess like mm -hmm. first things you know to start realizing mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, but if you're saying like right there in the moment. Yeah, right then. Think when sometimes, like, you know, there's certain presence you, you feel that it's very neutral, that it's not gonna bother you. But then, some of them are just so, I don't know, I wouldn't say malicious, but it makes me so afraid. Like, I feel this cold here, and I'm like, I just need to flee, like leave. Right. Yeah. And do you? Yeah, when that happens, yes. I mean, thankfully, it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. So. Okay, so what are some of the things that you feel? <laughs> what are, what are, what are some of the things that make you feel like really good as a sensitive that you feel like more people should be uh, should should know about? Like whether it's like nature or whatever. How do you connect to that to that magic inside of you? You know, how do you connect to to possibility? How do you connect to that? Ooh, <laughs> um, well, I spend a lot of time with nature. I, I make it a point to like you know, touch these things and like actually get in there and get dirty. So Do you have one experience that you can share with us? I do a lot of grounding meditation. Yeah. Do you have like an experience that you've had like kind of like how you so descriptively describe like what you just described? Yeah. But have you ever had like an experience where you kind of like opened up into into life mm -hmm. and into like the universe and it feels so good in your heart. It feels so it feels so at home and it feels strong and you feel grounded. Do you have experience like that to share with people? Even one. Wow, let me, let me think. I think there's been plenty where um, like, I know I'm not... Your eyes are lighting really up. <laughs> very, very... I'm not feeling the best. And then I, I go into a park or a forest with this specific intention to like release it into the earth right walk us through it um walk me through it <laughs> yeah walk, walk us through like oh, one story i had this i had this one mantra that for climbing a mountain yeah recently actually you so, had a what a mantra it's, yeah like a mantra uh-huh um, climbing a mountain yeah so it went something like with every with every step i'm stronger than the last with every breath i am purified of my past so and it was a tough climb that that mountain. Um, so uh, you were literally climbing a mountain and you were saying yeah this. I was repeating it wow, over were you? and over again. Wow, so I, I made every step like intentional and it worked. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. How did it feel? Um, felt great. I got over what was bothering me. Yeah. So. And that was the point, obviously. Yeah. Then after after that work, then I started to do it more often with just like you know walking on grass. I'm like, like every step I'm releasing all this bullshit I don't want to carry yeah. with me anymore. Yeah. yeah. Like with every dance, I'm moving further away from you. <laughs> <laughs> you dance, like yeah, just really cut the ties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's powerful. I mean, you're using you're using the sound of your voice. You're using your intention. You're using your body. Yeah. And you're also like you're probably walking bare, barefoot, right? Yeah, like you, you barefoot now. Heels are prison you for now. your feet. No, they're not. They're pretty too. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which mountain were you climbing? Uh, it's called Mount Santubong in Kuching. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It was really tough. It was like most of it was a vertical climb with rope ladders and like you had to climb rock walls and cliffs and stuff. Yeah. Right. Mm. So how do you feel when you're in the in 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 nature? Um, well, in an extreme feel? case, like climbing a mountain, it, it's just me and trying to survive because one wrong, <laughs> really, one wrong slip, like I would fall and die. Yes. Yeah, it's that kind of thing. I mean, nothing matters anymore. Okay, like, why? I, who cares about my broken heart, right? It's just about not breaking my neck at this point. Yeah, it brings you into a state of presence. It yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like sure. you have no choice but to yeah. just be in that moment, yeah. you know, instead mm -hmm. of holding on to all the, mm. all the stories and all the stuff, yeah. right? Mm. And then you realize that, like, you know, the only thing that matters is you, <laughs> really. Right. Well, that seems a bit selfish to say it like that. No, but, but, you know, yeah. I think for a lot of us, we spend our whole lives not giving a shit about ourselves. So that is actually... 
<laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's yeah, like yeah, a way yeah. of fuck. I'm finally giving yeah. a shit about myself. I'm finally loving yeah. myself. Finally being in this moment. And mm-hmm. like, you know, have no guilt about that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Really. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, it brings you into a state of presence. So, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> You're a very good interviewer. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's like my first time. Yeah. Maybe you should have more guests here. Yeah. <laughs> ideas. Who wants to come on? I can actually see who's on, Aoife. I can't see who else is on. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I want to hear more about how, like, the beauty that you connect to. Oh, fuck yeah! Tell them about your painting. My painting. I'm sure you've connected to. Like, <laughs> just tell me about your painting. She paints. I paint. She paints. Um, she paints. I, my, she... my painting has always been, like, about the. The journey, journey, the creation, the pro- yeah, the process, yeah. right? Like, yeah. I put on some music and smoke a bit of weed, and it's just about like, <laughs> whatever feels right at the time, you know. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It's well, okay. No um, censorship here. <laughs> <laughs> then, and then the end result was never what I expect because there was no expectations to begin with. Yeah, mm. yeah. We were supposed to paint today. Yeah, but it rained. But it rained, and this <laughs> happened, and we will paint the next time. I really want to paint with you because for me, I just started painting, and painting is also a journey for me. Yeah. To like the psyche, into like everything, you know. And that's like a process, you know. Sometimes you release first, and then it kind of like it progresses and shit, yeah. So, and then you you realize that the colors people. that you pick at that time really reflects your state of mind. Yeah. Also, and then. At the end of it, you're like, wait, I didn't realize I was so... Look here, baby, there are like four people watching you now. Hi. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So, the colors, you're saying the colors that you choose? Yeah, it kind of reveals a lot about your state at that time and you don't even realize it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I feel like shit, I want to paint and then, but then I use a lot of pink and I'm like, oh, actually I'm not that bad after all. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's like, you, it's, it's like you're gifting yourself mm. through the painting. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel also. Like, you know, you look at the painting and then you kind of feel like you're gifting yourself with exactly what you need or like oh, yeah, letting yeah, yeah. go of mm. exactly what you do not need anymore. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I paint faces too. That's um. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I I started to paint faces only last year, but I like that that sense of intimacy when you get to really so close to someone, yeah. Yeah. And like they have no choice but to like stay still and like look at you, and then you kind of force them to feel comfortable with a stranger, like right in force their them, face. Force them. Not force them because they yeah, yeah. they volunteer, like they willingly want to get their face painted, and then you notice like tiniest things about their faces like their their brow bone and their facial features and um and you get into their space and you kind of feel their vibe and then you kind of feel like like there was one time i instinctively painted the um, uh, the sign for sun on this guy's forehead mm. and like i don't really use orange because it's not really my color but i was drawn to use orange for him and i asked him like do you spend a lot of time in the sun and he goes like why does it show on my skin and I was like no it's just something I picked up from you and I was like yeah I play a lot of sports and yeah it's kind of cool you can tell a lot from a person with just you're being picking up close to them and yeah. yeah picking up information yeah and it's always a challenge because like I do when, when I do parties or festivals and there's a long queue of people yeah and then I would have to keep going you know you, there's no there's no time to stop and think of what to paint the faces it's just gonna like flow and it just comes out of you Based right. on their faces. So it's like a feedback loop. You know, you're picking something from a person and then it's like a like, conversation. I ex- express it on their face yeah. based on what I feel from them. And it's super cool. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I've seen some of your photos. You do what? Face painting? Tell them what you do. Tell I them do, what you like to do. I do Go. face painting. I do <laughs> henna. I do. Um, I just like making art, I guess. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I like to paint and, and I do graphic design for for work um, yeah I saw you painting with neon paints yeah 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 somehow we always because I'm, I'm a night person and I paint I paint for parties so we mostly do you paint yeah oh, <laughs> cool thank you for sharing yeah so if you could share something that you feel is like so like you feel like it's so important that more people out there should know about or take notice whether it's 
themselves or in their relationships or in life or whatever what what is it what would you say what would you tell them i say people don't play enough like they stop playing when they become adults you know yeah they stop doing things for the heck of it just because it's fun you know yeah but it's important to like once in a while like go out and with no expectations and like do fuck all and like just <laughs> see where your feet takes you you know like move around live a little bit right yeah even 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 in a what in their relationships and their work you know yeah you have to step out of that that prison that you've built yourself in that that identity that you've really stepped into you know step out of it and like experience something else like be something else yeah mm. wow yeah cool that is definitely like so important i think there are so many people including myself sometimes that fall into this like loop of like routine or doing the same thing over and over again or being afraid to like step out and explore a different world even yeah for if, sure even with between between yourself and your partner you know like mm -hmm. there are some places where we pull back because we feel like more love is going to come or like things yeah. are starting to feel a little bit more intimate yeah and then we're like holy shit you know mm. and we get scared and it's just like how do we how do we deal with those um times in our lives where we actually can feel like there's opportunity and there's more love that's going to come through mm -hmm. but but we're feeling like our heart is like really afraid mm. and i think like when you stop exploring and you when you get bored of things is when you grow old because with children you know, they're always filled with like wonder and amazement because everything's so new to them and they they really lead the best lives because you know everything is fresh and you're like you're innocent so as adults I think it's that we have this responsibility to yourself to keep exploring new things so you don't get stuck in a space that you know that's really right girl yeah. that's right <laughs> and it's pretty normal <laughs> Sharon says hi hi <laughs> Sharon <laughs> what's up <laughs> It's perfectly yeah. normal being bored. Yeah, some people think it's bad to be bored. They're like, oh, I get bored really easily. I'm like, no, hello, that's like life. That's how... Being bored is not life, Izzy! No, no, but <laughs> then you act on it. You know, if you're bored, that means like it's time to move on and do something right, else. Like, right, right. The situation, that space is not serving you anymore. Yeah, it's like a pointer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like a sign going, wake up, do something different now, please. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to share? Um, I don't know, ask me a question. The, okay. My question is, do you want to paint with me again? Yes, of course. I mean, not again. We haven't even painted. But yeah, you want... This time we go indoors, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's paint and have like a really... Let's have a journey with the paint. And let's... Maybe we'll put some of it online. Sure. 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 <laughs> sure. She's like, I want. I to speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have, you don't have to speak. We will just journey together and show them what we do. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for being so brave and coming on the camera. You're welcome. It wasn't that bad, actually. Yeah, it's good. You look pretty <laughs> chill. Please, the water, the end, speaking about what you love. Yeah. Okay, bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Ciao.